Finance Minister Tito Mboweni has convened a colloquium aimed at raising South Africa's economic growth, which will see government bouncing policy proposals off economists from the private sector and academic institutions. Mboweni says government now has to think out of the box to grow the economy. Reserve Bank Governor Lesetja Kanyaho will also attend the colloquium. Our reporter Gloria Safakumusi now joins us for more. Gloria, thank you for joining us. What came out of Finance Minister Tito Mboweni's speech at the colloquium? Well, uh, the colloquium is uh, it's a one-day event uh, that uh, the National Treasury has convened. They have invited economists from uh, all over the world, really. Um, there's uh, local economists um, and uh, from the private sector and uh, universities, and there's uh, uh, international e economists as well. From there are professors from Harvard University that are there, and uh, we have also. Um, the, 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 there's some business people that are there uh, as well, um, although he, he said in his opening that uh, this colloquium came about uh, because there, there, there's a question that has risen, uh, uh, arisen am amongst his cabinet co colleagues as to whether as South Africa, given the kind of problems that we're facing with the economy, as to whether we, we are asking the right questions, as to whether we are following the right steps that we should be taking to correct uh, the, the kind of situation that we are in. So in his opening remarks, uh, the minister said uh, the main concern here uh, that has brought everyone together is uh, the low economic growth, uh, saying that uh, uh, if you look at economic growth in, in sub-Saharan Africa, it's the three biggest economies that are dragging growth uh, on the continent, um, saying that South Africa is one of those. He said that... Uh, he, other people that are also represented there is people from the World, World Bank and the OECD. They're trying to come up with ideas on how to influence policy, saying there's no formula on how to do things. There's no uh, a general uh, blanket as to how uh, economic uh, uh, problems can be solved. So South Africa as a unique country has to come up with its unique solutions and they're hoping to um, advise uh, come up with uh, a solution, a solutions that they can advise a cabinet on what steps to take to turn the economy around. Now, Cloris, um, are there any other notables attending this conference, this colloquium? Yes, uh, other people that are attending, he said uh, firstly that uh, it's, it's just the beginning. This is just the beginning. There are more people that would, they would have liked to be there, like the manufacturing cycle, uh, that, whether that represent... Um, the, 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 the biggest, uh, the big uh, manufacturing companies in the country. Uh, but for now, they had uh, uh, the, the fund sales from the ZZ2 farms that are, the, that are uh, farmers of tomatoes. We know them for tomatoes and avocados. Uh, so they are there as well. They are agricultural economists. They are economists from the financial sector, the banks. Um, they are uh, they, from the university. I mentioned VET University. Uh, what they are hoping to look at also is that... Uh, they have an idea of uh, forming a council of advisors, of, of economic advisors, which will be formed uh, by uh, different economies that will bring out ideas uh, on how to take South Africa forward. So this is kind of like formul formulating a, a, a think tank that's going to be able to push South Africa's economic recovery in a more speedier fashion. Yes, absolutely. We know with the kind of, of challenges that South Africa is facing, um, we've seen in the past few years where the economy has really struggled. We've seen in the first half of the year the economy was in recession. We've seen a lot of companies with, uh, retrenching, we've seen job losses. The minister actually said with that kind of challenge on his hands, he's, ha he's got uh, poor revenue collection uh, on his hands that he has got to deal with. And uh, with that kind of a problem, it means that there's less resources that they can allocate to different needs uh, to, to, to provide services to communities. Um, so with those kind of, uh, they're hoping with, with uh, the, those kind of uh, people that they, they, the great minds that they put in the room, uh, they've got papers, they've written papers, these people have written papers that are going to be discussed. And uh, we, we've asked actually as to, from the papers that have been written by these economists, what can you... What can you share with us uh, as to uh, what, what, what can take um, the, the, the economy forward? 
uh, the kind of solutions that are being brought forward. And he said uh, he obviously cannot discuss that at the moment, but uh, uh, those are the kind of... Uh, the, idea, the kind of uh, thinking that they're having to kind of think out of the box to take South Africa out of the kind of uh, the, uh, problems that it's facing at the moment. So essentially the discussions at the colloquium, they're placing particular emphasis on interventions that encourage new models and paradigm shifts in support of faster economic growth. Absolutely. They are looking at new ways of doing things. Uh, uh, they're thinking there have been so many things, so many programs that have been put in place to try and turn the economy around. If you think uh, if, as far back as from the, the global financial crisis of the 2008, 2009, there have been many programs that have been put in place. But uh, what are we seeing at the moment? The same problems persist. Unemployment is growing. Retrenchments are continuing. So. I, I, like he's saying, are we having the right conversations? Mm -hmm. what, what, what is out there? What, what else is out there? What other ideas are out there that we can perhaps uh, try and see if we can implement in South Africa? Another issue that they mentioned also is the implementation of policy. Saying South Africa has been known to have such uh, great policies, but uh, they lack in implementation. They're trying to come up with ways as to how can we then make sure that we fast track implementation, the, the reforms in the economy? Um, we saw the Minister of uh, Economic Development also attending there, the Minister of Trade and Industry, and the Minister of Finance, uh, Tito Mbowin, actually mentioned that he did not want a whole um, cabinet uh, attending that uh, colloquium saying it would change uh, the, the, what they're trying to achieve into something else. So saying that uh, with the kind of ideas that they, they are bringing on the table at the moment, they're going to meet again in, in January, at the, end, at, the at the middle of January, so that they can advise cabinet towards the end of, uh, Feb uh, of uh, January to see uh, what other direction can, it can be taken to try and uh, turn the economy around. Well, certainly a good start. It's very heartening to see this kind of initiative and the fact that it's going to be an ongoing initiative uh, and, uh, and, and the, the timing of it all at this particular period of you know, when people are in a festive uh, atmosphere. Here we have a, a, a group of people that are actually taking South Africa's economy very, very seriously. Well, thank you very much indeed. That was our reporter, Gloria Safako Musi, reporting to us from uh, Pretoria. Well, the Minister of Transport, Bladen Zimande, is in Messina visiting the Bightbridge border post to assess cross-border operations. Our reporter, Mike Moringa, puts us up to speed on the activities ahead of the Minister's visit. The program is in such that as soon as he gets here, he will go straight to the border to see uh, what's, what, what is happening there. He will be interacting with all the staff, everybody who works at the border. I must also indicate that... Um, there was the Minister of Home Affairs who was here yesterday, Minister Kwele, who indicated that he is satisfied with uh, how things are running at the, at the border. He says the customs is ready. They are dealing with people who are coming from Zimbabwe and other countries and those that are from South Africa to other countries as part of the festive campaign. What I must also indicate to you is that there is a very big roadblock uh, where we're standing. If you look just behind me, You've got trucks that are still going into the way bridge. Some of them are overloaded. Chances are that they might not pass uh, there. They will have to uh, uh, um, uh, stop for a while while they offload or they seek other alternatives to get their goods uh, into Zimbabwe and the other way around. And unfortunately, from where I'm standing, you are unable to see the other side. That is where uh, Minister Zimande is expected to join uh, law enforcement agencies as they conduct the roadblock. The roadblock started as early as 6 o'clock this morning, and, but unfortunately at this stage we don't have stats as to how many vehicles were stopped, how many people have been arrested if ever there were fines that are issued. We must also indicate, Mahindra, that the, uh, the, the traffic volumes heading towards the Zimbabwean side, it's, it's, it's increasing. Uh, it has been um, like that since last week because most uh, people who are driving or motorists who are driving uh, from Gauteng into Limpopo and further to Zimbabwe and other countries uh, closed from their um, jobs as in last week and from there they have been flocking on the N1 to their respective um, uh, countries. So we'll be following Minister Zimande as soon as he gets here. We'll be with him when he visits the customs. We'll also be part of his uh, delegation when he goes to the roadblock. That's where we'll be able to get figures. That's where we'll be able to get stats as to how many people have been arrested, what is happening with the motorists that are overloaded. And I must also indicate that on our way here, 
we have noticed that there are a lot of trailers that have broken down on the roads. I've counted more than 20. Uh, You'll, you'll ask yourself as to how did those trailers uh, uh, manage to drive from Gauteng up until um, yeah, the, the, the Bait Bridge border post. So most of them are broken. Uh, you've got a lot of uh, mechanics who are trying to assist the motorists to get their vehicles up and ready so that they can continue with their journey. Well,